What's up, everyone? Ron P from Wild Sky Bets here with some uh, NFL showdown Thursday night analysis uh, of the game between the LA Rams and the Seattle Seahawks. It uh, should be a fun game. Uh, both teams played on Sunday. The uh, Seattle won, the Rams lost. So I think the Rams are going to be motivated on the road. And I think Seattle's going to be motivated to keep their winning streak intact. Uh, both teams want to make the playoffs. It should be a fun game. So we're going to get right into this and look at the uh, captain position. Um, captain, the most expensive player uh, for the game is Cooper Cup. Uh, 18-6, Russell Wilson, 17-7. You got Matthew Stafford at 17-1, DK Metcalf at 15-3, Tyler Lockett at 14-4. You got Henderson, the running back for the Rams at 12-6. You got Woods, uh, second best receiver for the Rams at 11-4. And Chris Carson is 9-9. Looks like Chris Carson may not play. That's something to closely watch. Uh, so, you know, out of those players, uh, I don't like choosing quarterback for the captain position because it limits you with uh, the funds you can use for the flex position. And I'm not going to even do it right here. Right here, I'm going to choose the running back for um, the Rams, Henderson. Uh, the Ram the Seattle is 31st in the league against the run. Henderson, over his last three games at running back, Let me see. Let's let's be sure here. Okay. In his four games, he's played. Game one, he had 16 fantasy points. Game two, he had 17 fantasy points. He didn't play game three. He did play this past weekend, and he had 17 fantasy points. Uh, If he's healthy, if he's fully healthy, you can see him doing some damage against uh, Seattle tonight because their run defense has just not been good. It's been pretty bad all year long. And I'm going to go with Daryl Henderson as my captain. Let's look at the flex position. At flex, I'm going to uh, select Matthew Stafford. Uh, Stafford is a few hundred dollars uh, cheaper than uh, Russell Wilson, about $400 cheaper. I think both of them are going to give us similar numbers uh, in this game. I don't think it's worth paying an extra $400 to get Russell Wilson in this game unless Russell want to come out and be the Russell Wilson of old and run a couple touchdowns in, but I don't see that happening. So Stafford is going to be my guy tonight. Uh, He had 20 fantasy points in the last game, and I think he's going to be motivated to play better than they played. Uh, The Rams did not play well in 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 their past game. Also, I'm looking at I'm going to take his second best receiver, uh, which is Woods. Um, Robert Woods, uh, in his last three, he scored 12, 7, and 15 fantasy points. In his last three, he's been targeted nine, six, and six times. Uh, and he may, and he has had a couple rushes this year. Uh, he's had three rushes on the year. Uh, don't see that happening, but I do like him against the Seattle defense. Seattle defense is not that good. Uh, they're actually 22nd against the pass. So Robert Woods is someone I'm going to get in my lineup at the other flex position. Let's look at the next flex position. Um, I'm going to go with uh, Lockett. Tyler Lockett, in his last three, he's had 35, 7, and 6. So his past two games haven't been that great. Uh, This is the guy who takes the air out of the defense. He's the guy who Russell Williams throws the deep balls to when he throws them. Uh, In his last three games, Lockett Lockett has been uh, targeted 11, 4, and 5. Primetime game. I can see Russ trying to air it out to Lockett at some point. Uh, when Lockett catches the ball, it's always, you know, deep 10 and 10 yards or more. 
So I'm going to go with Lockett. Uh, we could try to go with Metcalf. Would go with you know Metcalf is a little bit too expensive uh, at that position for me. And uh, even though Metcalf is their most consistent receiver and probably will produce tonight, you know, but I'm going to go with Lockett at this position. At the next flex position, I'm going to choose Van Jefferson for the Rams. Mr. Jefferson in his last three games has given us two, eight, and 21 fantasy points. He scored a couple touchdowns in the last game. Um, He's been targeted in his last three three, six, and six. So in his last two games, he's been targeted six times in both of those games. Uh, I do not see that changing tonight. Again, Seattle's 22nd against the pass, 31st against the run. Uh, I can see all the receivers being successful. It's just now trying to pick the one who's going to score a touchdown is, 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 is the key. Uh, I think Cooper Cup is just too expensive tonight, um, even at the uh, flex position. And I'm going to fade Cup tonight at the uh, flex position, and I'm going to go with Jefferson. So that leaves us with about $4,000 available to uh, play. Uh, We can go with uh, Disley at tight end. He hasn't produced at all this year for Seattle. I can't see that being any different tonight. We can go with Collins, the Seattle running back, who will probably start and produce if uh, Carson is unavailable. Uh, But one thing I do like is I like the visiting kicker uh, in a lot of these uh, showdown lineups. So I'm going to go with Matt Gray. His projection for tonight actually is – 9.6 9.6 fantasy points. And I'm going to go with Mr. Matt Gay tonight. Um, I can see a game where it being 34, 24, or 34 to 30. I think the kicker can, you know, well, I think both kickers can be involved tonight to, you know, give you possibly double digit fantasy points. So those are my picks for uh, tonight. Just one lineup you could use. Uh, if you're doing multiple lineups, you need to, you know, mix it up. Uh, I think it's going to be very hard to put a, a very good lineup together with the quarterbacks tonight because they're very highly priced. And even, even Cooper Cup at your captain, it's going to be hard to put together a great lineup Uh So that's why I'm going in a little different direction with this. Uh, So, again, my captain is uh, Daryl Henderson. Uh, My flex position is Matthew Stafford. Uh, Another flex is Robert Woods, Tyler Lockett, uh, Jefferson for the Rams, and Matt Gay for the Rams also. So basically, you're looking at I have mostly all the Rams I have five Rams players in the lineup and one Seattle player in the lineup. I think the Rams bounce back tonight. I think they proved tonight that they are a Super Bowl contending team. And I think Seattle, you know, they got that must win against San Francisco, but I just don't think they are as good as the uh, Rams. So I'm kind of going all in on the Rams in this lineup tonight. So those are my picks. Hey, Comment down below. Tell me what you think. Go ahead and hit that like button if my content helps you. And go ahead and subscribe to that channel if you haven't done so in the past. So until the next video, peace.